Greetings, Guardians. It is Tuesday and it is Reese. No, sorry. It is Friday and it is Zerg Day. Don't mind me, I don't seem to know what day it is. Um, so, uh, Zerg is. Oops, wrong button. Zerg is actually currently in the tower hangar, guys. Um, so, where the jukebox is, right there. Uh, just go I simply behind here and when the run up to. Run up to here. And uh, Zerg's there. Let's have a look at what he's got. It's been a long day, don't mind me. Okay, so, uh, Immolation Fists. Uh, grant py explosive pyra. Uh, increased melee attack speed and increased hand cannon reload speed. Um, also sidearm reloader. Um, now obviously these are obviously for the hunter in the groups. Um, they're okay. Um, obviously they have increased intellect and they do allow you to increase your hand cannons. But since hand cannons have been nerfed, no one's really using them much. Well, I find no one's really using them much anyway. Um, so yeah, everybody seems to be running around with pulse rifles and scout rifles these days. Uh, apart from that, the Pyra obviously definitely beneficial. Uh, but apart from that, they're okay. Look, obviously if you're still trying to get to 300 or so, um, then obviously worthwhile. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's not too bad actually apart from that. But yeah, but you know, tank cannons. So yeah. Uh, don't touch me uh, for the hunters in the group. Sorry, that was for the Titans. Hey, hunters in the group. Uh, taking damage from melee attacks makes you briefly invisible. Increased melee attack speed. Increased reload speed with pulse rifles. Uh, guys, uh, also it's got shotgun reloader. Um, I'm actually going to say for all the hunters in the group that don't have a decent set of arms, well, decent set of gauntlets anyway, definitely worthwhile having a look at. Uh, for a start, the meleeing, uh, becoming invisible when briefly attacked, uh, taking damage from melee, sorry. Guys, it's definitely worthwhile having a look at that alone. Not to mention the fact that it's got both pulse rifle and shotgun reloader. Shotgun's obviously huge for PvP. Um, everybody seems to be running around shooting everybody with a shotgun still. And the pulse rifle, guys, I'm going to say that because the pulse rifle that you get in the raid is probably the second best primary gun you will get. Um, only the thing that I know that beats it personally is the scout rifle. Um, I've got both scout and pulse, and now, well, actually, I've got all the primary guns you get for the raid, but uh, I'll tell you now, guys, the pulse rifle you get from the raid is a beast. Um, the scout rifle is nuts. If you can get the scout, grab it. Um, but the pulse rifle is definitely worthwhile. And you can increase your reload speed. Um, so it definitely comes in handy if you get the pulse rifle and doing the raids or any sort of PvE or PvP. Uh, plus shotgun from the PvP. Um, obviously, yeah, increase the uh, increased relay, melee attack speed or cooldown time. Yay. Uh, discipline or strength. Probably would have liked maybe intellect and discipline on that, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Definitely worthwhile having a look at these gloves, guys. It's definitely worthwhile. And for the warlocks in the group, uh, gain an additional melee charge, increase melee attack speed, increase reload hand cannons uh, for the warlocks. It seems to be a big hand cannon thing going, going. Um, guys, this thing, the claws are not too bad. Um, obviously, gaining additional charge for the Warlock obviously comes in handy when you're doing your bounties and stuff. Um, also, running around, obviously, for uh, the Sunbreakers um, or for the, uh, or for the uh, Stormcallers. Um, or actually, for any of the subclasses for the Warlock. Apart from that, increased discipline, increased strength, uh, snap, discharge, increased melee attack speed. Uh, gain mo bonus melee energy on grenade hits, hand cannon reloader, or machine gun reloader. Guys, probably would take the machine gun because the machine gun you get in the raid is a beast as well. Um, so if you do manage to pick that up and you do have these gloves, probably take the machine gun um, over the hand cannons. Uh, the hand cannon you get in the raid, you're just better off throwing it at somebody. Uh, apart from that, it's not really any good. Well, my personal opinion anyway. Uh, exotic Engram, obviously 19 for year 2, uh, Legacy for year 1, uh, obviously Void Droid, uh, Void, 
that void drive and obviously emerald coil uh, heavy ammo synthesis uh, three of coins glass needles and materials guys remember don't forget to grab your three of coins the uh, reason why I say that is because the Echo of Oryx in the raid actually counts for three of coins um, so you can actually get two exotic drops or up to two exotic drops just by doing the raid for that plus the raid, uh, the exotic chest possible three raid weapons uh, just for doing the raid uh, sorry, uh, three exotic weapons just for doing the raid um, so it's definitely worthwhile taking those three of coins for that plus any of your strikes or anything like that that you're still doing um, obviously it's worthwhile for that so don't forget your three of coins probably more useful than any of the other things along this line here to be honest um, heavy ammo I don't really seem to go through much of it anymore because obviously no one's really running around with Galahorn um, maybe we should change that to sniper ammo uh, glass needles I've never tried them I will make a video on it one day when I get a chance um, just to see you know what it does um, and how it goes but you know uh, apart from that guys look leave us in the comment section below any comments or any questions that you have um, but apart from that guys look to be honest uh, don't touch me is definitely worth hunters in the group and also three of coins just everybody should just grab some of those that's my pick for the week uh, or picks for the week uh, let us know in the comment section below do you agree or disagree and why um, and apart from that guys enjoy destiny have a great time I will see you kicking Oryx's ass. Have a great night. Enjoy.